From the Consumer Electronics Show in Las Vegas, this is an ITTV special report. Our next guest invented the first noise isolating insert earphones back in 1984. It was a very good year, especially for noise isolating, because he did it. He's the president and founder of Etymotic Research, Dr. Mead Killian. Dr. Killian, welcome into tomorrow. How are you? It's good to be here, and I'm fine. Good. Glad to have you with us as well. Tell me about Etymotic Research. What is that? Is it, first of all, the word Etymotic. Uh, let's get into that and what that means. Uh, years ago, we were looking for a name that would be exclusive to define uh, a good real ear response, and got a classics professor who said, in 500 BC in Greece, if you'd wanted to say real ear or true to the ear, you would say etym otic. Otic is an otologist, and etym is in the etymology, the true origin of words. Okay. Well, then, <laughs> well at least now we know. <laughs> but right. then tell me about uh, what is it that your research is known for? What is it that you guys do? Obviously, having to do with, with hearing and proper hearing. It all has to do with hearing. Uh, we have everything from products that can test a... Um, newborn baby for hearing to musicians and high fidelity earplugs that are used by symphony musicians and uh, rock musicians throughout the world and um, of course consumer products and we have uh, hearing aid circuits that have been used by musicians also in the orchestra uh, Chicago Symphony Orchestra and thus the angle for the consumer electronic show is that m some of your technology hopefully more and more of it being utilized in more electronics for all of us as consumers and of course we make earphones <laughs> oh, well I would, I would think yes because you certainly know how to do that so tell me about the earphones that we're showing uh, to those who are watching the video and if not come by the site anytime at your leisure into tomorrow.com and you'll be able to see the things we're talking about, the products and the guests and so forth. Tell me, uh, what am I holding up to Andres' camera as we speak? <laughs> the uh, two products here are electronic blast plugs, and Whoa. they grew out of the realization that one-third to one-half of the soldiers come back with uh, hearing damage, oh. tinnitus or, or uh, hearing loss. Yeah. And it's not because they don't have hearing protection, they do, but they are afraid that it's going to interfere with their ability to detect or localize the enemy or their friends, wow. and they don't wear it sure. at the crucial Even times when they are sneaking into a building and yeah, an IED. Yeah, a platoon goes member saying, watch out or something. You don't want to miss that, obviously. So now these can be inserted. You can still hear your surroundings, yet you're protected from those kind of percussion sounds and so yeah, forth? Yeah, the basic, the two pieces. The basic design is to make them sound as if nothing's in your ear. Gotcha. So that everything localizes normally. I go out on runs and to localize planes. I mean, they do that. Yeah. Then the fact that they have such a tiny receiver means that it can't move far enough to reproduce more than about 115 dB. So 160 dB or 150 dB gunshot yeah. just comes out of as a, as a safe pop. Wow. Okay. Yet they can get used to it and know that it is a gunshot. Oh, yeah, <laughs> so it sounds, it sounds like a gunshot. It's yeah. just not dangerous anymore. Wow, gotcha. And these, are you providing these now to our military, I hope? We have three uh, squads of drill sergeants returned from Iraq and Afghanistan going through a scientific evaluation of them. But the real question is, will they wear them? Yeah, true. Everything is a good hearing protector, the but if it's not you got to do it. it. It's like a bulletproof job. vest. It's not going to help you if it's sitting on the table and exactly. you're out in the field, for example. So, And then real quick, in 30 seconds, the other uh, blue ones, uh, are these? Uh, these are our hi-fi earplugs, which we included just sort of as a backup. Oh, okay. And uh, we... <laughs> they're available, uh, have been for almost 20 years uh -huh. and uh, are wonderful for blocking out your rock concert, reducing it. They don't, reducing it. They don't yes. change the sound quality. They oh, just okay. reduce the level. Good. So especially as we get a bit older, perhaps, we want to enjoy the music without our ears bleeding. <laughs> That's there's, what these will do, right? There's a lot of recent research that suggests that hearing loss is evidence of a misspent youth. Yeah. Ah, good point. So especially if we can teach our youth earlier on to protect their hearing, enjoy their music and whatnot, but be careful, we're a whole lot better off for it. Do check out his website because uh, Dr. Killian and his team are certainly up to some pretty cool things. It's uh, etymotic.com. What? You need me to spell that? I can. E-T-Y-M-O-T-I-C. Etymotic.com. We'll link you there. Hit us up at intotomorrow.com, and you'll be a click away. Thanks for joining us. Let's stay in touch because I want to talk more and learn more about how they're in, more integrated, especially into consumer electronics for us. Thanks for having me. My pleasure. Thank you very much.